which bidet seat filter should I choose? How do I install it? How does it look once it's installed? These questions and many more are being addressed now if you stay tuned. My name is Daniel Johnson and I'm your bidet expert. Let's start by talking about the filters in front of me. We have a Brondell filter, a couple generic filters that can be used with most seats on the market, and a couple of bio bidet filters. It's important to note that Toto does not recommend using filters with their seats. If you want an in-depth walkthrough of installing a bidet seat filter, check the link in our video description to get that complete walkthrough. So we know how to install a bidet seat filter, but what are the different kinds of bidet seat filters? While looking online, you've probably seen carbon inline filters, sediment inline filters, ion inline filters, and iodine inline filters. So what are the differences between those and what do you need for your seat? Let's start with the Brondell filter. This is a carbon filter. And as you can see from the shot of our, uh, our side view of the filter after cutting it open, carbon is all throughout the filter. The water travels through the filter. Contaminants in the water attach themselves or adhere to the carbon so that you get cleaner water coming out the other end. This filter is a sediment filter. It's got a porous material in it that the water has to travel through before it makes it to the bidet. This allows you to remove minerals that would otherwise clog your bidet seat over time. Now, unlike the carbon filter, this filter is not going to remove organic substances from the water. The carbon attracts those organic substances. This is going to remove more of the minerals from the water, making it so that there's no buildup in the seat. This is an ion filter. The ion filter has small beads in it that absorb things like magnesium, iron, and calcium. It's really going to work well in absorbing anything that has a negative charge. Now what that means is that it's going to make your water softer, and because it makes your water softer, it's going to allow the water to clean a little bit better because the water droplets are going to have a little bit less surface tension. This is what BioBidet calls their carbon filter. Now, we cut this filter open, and unlike the Brondell filter where we saw the carbon in the filter, this filter, as you can see in the screenshot, looks exactly like the sediment filter that we looked at a moment ago. So we believe that this is actually simply a sediment filter, not a carbon filter. That being said, it still provides the same value that a sediment filter would provide, keeping your seat from getting clogged. It's important to note that most bidet seat manufacturers source the manufacturing of their bidet seats and filters to third parties and then private label them when they get stateside. So our guess is that the manufacturer told BioBidet that this was a carbon filter and BioBidet said, great, and sold it as such. This is what BioBidet calls their iodine filter. Now, if it was an iodine filter, it would release trace amounts of iodine into the water to sterilize the water for the wash cycle. However, when we cut this filter open, it looked surprisingly like the ion filter. So we think that this is a similar situation to what we're running into with BioBidet's carbon filter. Based on the research that we've done, we believe that their iodine filter is actually an ion filter and there was a miscommunication with the factory and that this is actually simply going to soften the water instead of actually adding trace amounts of iodine to the water for sterilization reasons. Now, again, we're not experts. If you see the pictures that we have in this video and you say, I'm a water filter expert, those are iodine beads, you're absolutely wrong share with us, comment on this video, let us know, we'll reshoot it. But from what we can tell and the research that we've done, and we try to research these things heavily before we shoot these videos, it appears to us that this is actually an ion filter, not an iodine filter. So if you're purchasing an iodine filter from BioBidet, keep in mind that you might not be getting sterilization, you might just be getting softer water. 
Well, that's great, but how often do I need to change one of these filters? Manufacturers recommend changing these every six months. Now, if you find that the water flow starts to, uh, starts to lessen or the water pressure starts to lessen, at that point in time, it might be time for a new filter. So in rare cases, if you have really hard water and you start to experience that, uh, it might be time to change a filter earlier than that six month period. So we have multiple different kinds of filters. We have our ion filters. We have our sediment filters and we have our carbon filter. With all these choices, it may be a little tricky to determine which one's the right one for you. If you're on a well and you frequently have hard water, we'd recommend the ion filter. It's going to soften that water, giving you a better wash. And regardless of whether or not you have a softener that sometimes runs out of salt or no softener at all, it will keep your water soft. If you have soft water, but you want to protect your seat against large, uh, large particles, rocks, things like that, that might come through the line if you have a water main break, the sediment filter is your best choice. It will still protect your seat, but it won't soften the water. So if you want to one up the sediment filter, you could always upgrade to the carbon filter. It's still got a membrane in it, so it's still going to catch those big items, but it's also going to catch any of that organic matter because the carbon attracts that matter. So it's a step up, might be a little bit more expensive, but might be worth the upgrade. Comment below if there's any questions you have that we did not address so that we can address those for you in a timely manner. Also, if there's anything that we missed, feel free to let us know so that we can do these videos again and make them better the next time around. Thank you so much for watching. Check out our website if you need any help and have a great day. Minibidays.com, where we sell mini bidets, not mini bidets.